Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name's Matt, and I wanted to go over a little bit about blocks, the blocks feature in Reason. And the reason is, is because, uh, you know, I came up, I just thought I'd do it because I was, I was playing my bass the other day, and I came up with a loop. And I was like, uh, next thing you know, I came up with a drum beat and, and I started developing this little uh, song here. And it has all these elements here. But I wanted to show you how I always, uh, what I tend to do is I record in blocks mode. I'm not in song mode here. So, I mean, I turn on blocks mode and then I go into the blocks window and this is where I record everything. And, and I make my first block, I always call it everything. So everything's right in this, this area, all the, the elements of my song, all the clips that make up my song. Especially, you know, the percussions and, you know, verse uh, break stuff. And then, uh, and then once I get the song all laid out in blocks mode, then I'll go back into song mode and I, I'll probably record vocals over it or do a guitar solo or something. But I wanted to show you this. So what I have here is I'm in blocks mode view here. And it's so simple. I recorded everything in here and, I'm in, and I made my block called everything. So now I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to start to piecing my song together. And I'm going to select a, an empty block and I'm going to call it intro. Intro. And then I'm going to select the next one. I'm going to call it, uh, we'll call this one verse. So you just click in this verse. And if you ever want to like get rid of that, you know, say you don't want that to be called verse or whatever, you just double click in it. Or if you want to just get it back to its generic name, you just delete the name out of it. Pretty simple. And uh, then we'll call this one, uh, we'll just call this one break. Okay, and we'll get that. We'll leave it at that right there. So I'm going to go back to everything here. And I'm going to pick the elements of my, my, uh, my intro, which are going to be these two. And then I'm going to press Shift key, and I'm going to grab this one. Okay, then I'm going to go to intro. And I'm going to paste all these. And let's now we'll move these around a bit. And the block will always be to the end of the E cursor, the end cursor. And these are my pipes. They started out and then uh, my drums come in. That's my intro. And so that's a block and I can put this, this will, anytime I make this uh call up this block in song mode, this is all I'll get. And it will keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. So next I want to put in my verse. And we'll bring this out a bit. Oh, we'll go to, we'll grab the elements of the verse and that's going to be this. And press the shift key and grab them. Control or Command C, verse. We'll put them in and we'll just double these up and make it uh, four bars long. And so that's our verse. So let's go into song mode and start laying out our song using the blocks. So if I go, watch what happens when I press the W key when I have blocks mode on. You get the blocks selection here. So I want intro. I'm with my writing tool. And I can see where it ends and where it begins. And you see this little bar right here. You know that's one full loop. And so what I can do is just drag that back. And that's my, my intro. And now I'm going to go press a W. And I'm going to grab my verse. I'm going to pull that out and I can see there's one full one right there with the line. So, I just, And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy command this 
or control command V and we'll get a couple of these out and let's hear what we have Okay, let's um let's grab copy command another one of these. So right here I'm gonna put my guitar verse, but you know I need to put the the guitar the guitar part has to be put in in song mode. So I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna go back into song mode. And the reason is I'm gonna put my cursor right here. I'm gonna paste in my guitar, but let's go in the little you might run into things like this, and this is why I'm showing you this. You can see this is where my guitar should be. Right there. The one starts right here, but I have this little pre, you know, strumming here to set it up. And you can see it extends past, you know, what a, a the verse is. This would be eight bars. This is more than eight bars. It's eight bars and, you know, I don't know, uh, an eighth of a beat. Okay, so let's go back to here and let it let it flow in. So you see what I'm talking about? You got this pre-strumming here, so you have to put this clip in the song mode so you can move it around precisely. Another thing you can do is say you want to take say this uh, this clip right here and you want to ha turn these these uh, block images into cl clips, actual clips like the guitar here. You just click on it, you right click and it says uh, convert block clips to song clips and then you'll have them right there like that and you can move them around or do whatever you want. You can grab them and delete them and you still have your block. So, I mean, that is block modes in a nutshell. It's, it's really that easy. And what it helps you do is, uh, you know, create a, a song really efficiently. Uh, and in the blocks view and and you can record in blocks blocks view so you have everything in one and you can just do it that way um it's really simple and i hope it helps you out i love the blocks view and use it because it's really a songwriter's uh super tool if you ask me so i look forward to seeing you in the next video and you guys take care